in order for us to be effective communicators, we have to be as concise as possible. That brevity is our friend. That anytime we overcomplicate things or we give too many instructions, uh, it's actually a demotivator and it's actually distracting. So what we need to do is we need to be able to give the minimal amount information necessary for the person to improve their performance. See, the key to effective communication is not telling people everything that you know, it's telling them only what they need to know to improve that situation or to improve their performance. So it kind of goes back, if you'll allow me to use yet another Tylenol analogy, is if, if you have a headache, you don't take 10 Tylenol, you take one or two. You take the minimum amount required to get rid of your headache. There's no reason to take more than that. And it's the exact same thing with communication. Keith, if I can boil down what I need you to do as my teammate into one or two very brief bullet points or sound bites, if you will, then I don't want to, I don't want to mask it with too much information. I want to tell you exactly the who, the what, and the when that I need from you. And then with great brevity and clarity, the expectations at which I need you to do that. And if we can learn to be more concise, then we'll make sure that we capture more of that short attention span.